Tell me more about a woman who was pulled out of the reservoir. We first brought you this story as breaking news last night. She was riding in a pontoon boat and somehow she ended up in the water. Police tell us that she was wearing a life jacket and is okay. Meantime, authorities are using it as an opportunity to address water safety. WJTV 12's Alex Love reports. Alex? Well, after speaking to officers, it seems like a life jacket was the biggest difference maker in keeping this woman alive. So police are stressing now the importance of being cautious while on the water. Following one of their busiest weekends of the year, the Reservoir Police Department is breathing a big sigh of relief. Everything went pretty smooth. Uh, we didn't have to, we didn't have any BUIs. The only major call officers got came around 9 p.m. when a single boat by Spillway Road needed help. We did have one incident with a pontoon boat that ended up having a, a one boat wreck. Uh, subject did fall from the boat, but they're fine. They were wearing their life jackets, so we came off with no injuries on that end. The investigation into the accident is still ongoing, but Lieutenant Travell Dixon gave us laws and tips to avoid these situations. Boat of safety combined with alcohol and making sure that while people are out here, making sure that they understand what they're consuming and making sure that they're being safe with everyone that's around them. And to avoid falling overboard, be aware of no wake zones and don't overcrowd your boat. Your boat's rated for a certain amount of people and also a certain weight. Uh, so you want to make sure that you are looking for both of those and making sure that you're not exceeding that amount. because That also leads you to uh, receiving a citation if you're over that limit. And in the woman's case in the single pontoon boat accident, her wearing her life jacket may have saved things from becoming deadly. We're just looking for all, getting all the facts and information together and figuring out how the incident occurred and moving forward from there. We encourage everyone to wear the life jackets all time, especially if you're operating at night. As for having zero drinking and boating under the influence incidents, Reservoir Police will continue to hold their same strategies enforcing with the Department of Wildlife as summer moves forward. Reservoir PD also wanted to point out parts of Pelahatchie Bay are still closed due to an outbreak of Salvinia and the only boat ramp open there is still at Pelahatchie Shore Park.